I think the amount of human rights violation in case of women, if I don't say thousand times, it's hundred times more than uh, ordinary male citizens in Iran. I went to the school in Iran. Nobody ever searched my bag before getting to school. That's what they do it in a very, very much humiliating way up to this day with millions of Iranian girls every day in the school being searched, being uh, even the clothes and underwear being searched not to bring any piece of cosmetics. Iran is a, is a, is a, is a, is a hot climate. Imagine right now in Tehran with something like 40, 45 centigrade, women has to cover themselves with a very thick black, just, just to give you practical examples and not talking about big ideas. They are really suffering under that. And, and they, they are under pressure uh, like, like many other women in the region because of employment, you know, being part of the job market, difficult economic time. And they're, they're being questioned by government agents in the, the uh, last, day, last year they announced just in the Tehran, there was 370,000 arrests of women because not paying attention to Islamic dress code. If you imagine about 370,000 individuals who has been, you know, some sort of kidnapped from the streets, brought to some facility, their name being registered, this is something more dramatic as the Third Reich. So women are being seen in Iran as, as Jewish population of Nazi Germany. They are, they are being considered as the main prime enemy and suspect in, the, in, 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 in this country because they are just asking for their rights. They want to, 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 to have equal rights. And, you know, in the, time, in, the, in the eyes of the law, they want to be seen like, like men. So I think uh, the future of Iran is, is really in the hands of women. I think their motivation uh, for, for coming to streets, as you've seen on, on your, your TV screens, was much more higher than men. And let's not forget, in a country in the Middle East, uh, if one girl coming to the street, and you can see that on the TV, this particular one girl will bring thousands of men who feel very humiliated sitting at home and watching this footage that their sister on the streets are being beaten by the government agents, and they are sitting at home and watch. So I think either this way or that way, future of Iran is in the hand of women. If you just compare, for example, Mr. Mousavi's discourse, like one of the one of the, the candidates, which is right now under house arrest, you see, his wife, uh, Mrs. Ranavar, is much more <laughs> radical and much more pro-reform, even in comparison with Mr. Mousavi, who was kind of radical in his own agenda. There, there is in their, their, their election campaigns widow, you can see that when Mr. Mousavi say, yeah, we want a democratic Iran for men and women, his wife just stop him and say, wait, 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 no, we, 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 the situation is not the same. Wait, where do you go? Women have a huge, huge problem here in this country, and you have to concentrate, you have to focus. You cannot give us this hope of, okay, after everything will be democratic, women and men, will be the same. No, you have to start right now. If you see the house of Mr. Mousavi and people who are close to the current of power, when there is such a you know huge pressure from the women all along the political spectrum, then you can see how the system is under pressure to change the situation.